Good morning, uh, afternoon, of, uh, uh, hello everyone, welcome back to Contraband Fan YouTube channel. The next victim for YouTube is right here. This is one I built, my gosh, could be 10, maybe 15 years ago. I built this to be a parts cooler for when I had finished welding or heating them up with a torch so as to make them cooperative. Glowing metal is very interested in properly bending as I wish for it to. In any case, this used to be a condenser fan for probably a two-ton or a three-ton central air unit. It was 220 volts, now it's 110. It was single speed, now it has two. And it used to have the front grill on it, of course, or that would have been the top grill. Now it has the back grill. I'll explain that in a minute. And, yeah, I built this mug long before I knew anything about any contraband fan or any such thing. Of course, back then, there was no YouTube. Not much of the Internet, either. In any case, this is another fabricated beauty dreamed up by me and it has a really cool startup sound so i'll get an obscure camera view where the microphone has ideal access Ooh, look at that it looks like we're inside the old condensing unit the coils are gone and not because the scrappers stole them bums anyway look at that how cool is that? Oh, fans are the best. Anyway, let's fire this mug up and hear that start sound. Here we go. And three, two, one. This motor evidently thinks it's at the opera. That's all right, though. Let's see how that's going to do on the high speed. Nice. Okay. And we'll use the noise to gauge the performance even with the back or the bottom air intake partially restricted. Well, hang on. I think I can just fix that. Oh, yeah. Of course, it would have that because it is a contraband fan. Seems there's an old suitcase that got trashed, but before it did, I raided the handle off it. Works nicely. Yes, Rebob, now it's a front discharge, two speed. It has one of the really old switches that wanted to be a three speed, or it could be they used a three speed switch and a two speed application giving it the off at either side there's the off of course high speed low speed and off that's also advantageous if you don't want to turn it to the other speed or risk doing it or pass through the other speed on the route to the selected speed don't know why that would ever occur but it's covered if ever it should need be let's fire it up again and Gauge that noise again. I love that racket of airflow. That's pretty clever, though, I've got to admit, using that as an airflow gauge. An audible air gauge. All right, then, here we go. Oh, and that cool startup sound. I think this is that low speed. Let's try it. Yep, now a four blade. It might have been a two blade. I have another one like this that's a two blade. I also have a request from a person in Switzerland who wants a fan. And it's 220 and it'll probably run at 50 hertz, as is the electricity there. I will be working on that very shortly and it will end up looking a lot like this one if I go with that design, which I may or may not do. This one's exceptionally cool and 
sort of lightweight and portable, but I don't know. Contraband fan's going to be represented at such a great distance. I'm going to have to come up with something spectacular. Just make sure I get it right. Of course, it's always been the plan that contraband fan would be a worldwide phenomena. I mean, it's only natural. How else could that happen? I mean, what else could happen but that? Okay. Script department, you're fired. Okay, that's this one. Another treasure from my garage. Yes, indeed. Built to perform brilliantly and to cool off metal parts that are in the process of being built into more contraband fans, of course. Check back soon. And oh, suppliers aren't supposed to be in the picture. Okay, that's better. I'm going to have to get professional at some point. <laughs> yeah, as if. No, really. I don't know. Anyway, check back soon. See you then. Appreciate you watching. Hallelujah. Praise Jesus.